good day our beloved panel, clinical instructors, classmates, and to all the viewers. I am Thalmeya Luman, and together with me is Christian De Fiesta, Angeli Bonacosa, Darius Alcacho, and Athena De La Cruz. We proudly present our poster entitled Coping Strategies of Nursing Students with Online Learning. The reason why we conducted this study was because with the transition from traditional to online classes, we wanted to promote the nursing students' coping strategy with virtual learning. The Commission on Higher Education Memorandum Order No. 4, Series of 2020, entitled Guidelines on the Implementation of Flexible Learning, stated that the beginning of academic year 2020 to 2021, the implementation of flexible learning as delivery mode shall be adopted. This alternative approach includes two types of meetings, namely the synchronous that involves both the teacher and the students to be online at the same time, and the asynchronous where the students are allowed to focus on learning tasks at their own pace and time. Since this is a new setting in the educational system, students may face unexpected challenges while having online classes. Ways of coping must be identified and given importance to address the different stresses they face in a virtual learning environment. For the objectives, this study aims to identify the coping strategies among the nurse third-year nursing students at the University of St. LaSalle with online learning. For our theoretical framework, this study is anchored on Lazarus and Folkman's transactional model of stress and coping. They explain coping as a phenomenon that involves both cognitive and behavioral responses that individuals use in an attempt to manage internal or external stressors perceived to exceed their personal resources. Our study is also based on Sister Galista Roy's adaptational model. This model will help address the interaction to others and the environment through spontaneity and adaptation. Methodology. First, we have here the research design. Cognizant of the primary objective of the study is to establish, describe, and analyze the coping strategies of nursing students with online learning. The research design that is used in the study is the descriptive research design. Participants. The study used Lowen's formula to compute for the sample size of the population of 177 third-year students at the University of St. LaSalle. The target population of the study are the third-year nursing students with a total number of 123 students. Instruments The research instrument that was used in this study is a standardized instrument in which the researchers use an already available questionnaire with citation. Next and lastly, statistical tool. The researchers used frequency, percentage, mean, standard deviation, and in solving the significant difference, an independent sample t-test and analysis of variance was used. Results and discussions are divided into two segments, namely the profile of nursing students and coping strategies used in online learning. For the profile of nursing students, Table 1 shows the demographic profile of the nursing students engaged in online learning and the majority of the participants are female when grouped according to sex. And when grouped according to section, most of the participants are coming from sections B, C, and D. For the connectivity, majority of the participants belong to category 2B who have limited connectivity for online learning. While there are three students in category 1 who has no connectivity. And when grouped according to gadget use, most of the participants utilize laptop as a tool for online learning, Desktop computer, iPad, and tablets are the least used by the participants. For the coping strategies of the participants, the coping strategies of the participants are divided into two. First, the avoidant coping strategies, and second is the approach coping strategies. In terms of avoidant coping, most of the participants use self-destruction, while the least utilized is using of substances. Meanwhile, under the approach coping, majority of the participants use acceptance as a coping strategy in online learning, and humor is the least used. It can be implied that majority of the participants mostly use approach coping strategies rather than avoidant coping strategies with the exception of self-destruction strategies. And for the significant difference in coping strategies of nursing students, there was no significant difference when grouped according to sex. There was also no significant difference in coping strategies in terms of avoidant when grouped according to section, internet connectivity, and gadget use. Lastly, there was no significant difference in coping strategies in terms of approaching when grouped according to internet connectivity and gadget use. There was a significant difference when grouped according to section. Post hoc tests revealed that students from section B have significantly lower coping than students from section C and D. 
For the conclusion, this study is encored on Lazarus and Folkman's transaction model of stress and coping. They explain coping as a phenomenon that involves both cognitive and behavioral responses that individual use in an attempt to manage internal or external stressors perceived to excel. In connection with coping strategies, majority of the students use approach coping, namely acceptance, where it can imply that the students are associated with more functional responses to adversity, and that includes the way they adapt to practical adjustments corresponding to online learning, and most likely to have more stable way of responding to emotional stress. There is also a major number of students who approach stress in avoidant way of coping, namely self-destructions, and it shows that they have a less effective way of managing stress. On the subject of the internet connectivity and gadget use, majority of the students have a stable internet connection, but is an undeniable fact that the few students are challenged when in view of their internet connection. For the recommendations, Understanding and identifying patterns of students' coping strategies is vital in stimulating a supportive learning environment. Nursing faculty should build a rapport relationship with their students so as to be able to understand their personalities. For the nursing students, the researchers recommend using coping strategies when dealing with stressors to help them feel better physically and psychologically and to impact their ability in performing their best and everything they do. In academic daily life, nursing students are exposed to a wide range of potentially stressful situations which could negatively affect their achievement and their health. Coping strategies can help them minimize, deal, and get through tough times. Primarily, we would like to thank God for being able to complete this research proposal. Then, we would like to thank our nursing research teacher, Dr. Shaila Trajera, and our clinical instructor, Ms. Christine Contes, whose valuable guidance has been the ones that helped us make this proposal a success. Their suggestions and instructions have served as the major contributor towards the completion of the project. We would like also to thank our family and friends who have helped us with their valuable suggestions and guidance which has been helpful in various phases of the completion of the project. Last but not the least, I would like to thank my groupmates for helping each other and being cooperative in the making of this project. Thank you and have a good day.